Hi hey, Robloxers, it's me Feather Song. I know I haven't been making any videos lately, it's mainly because I haven't been playing Islands very much lately, um, but I've been playing a lot of Restaurant Tycoon 2. So I thought maybe I would um, make a video, a tutorial of this, how to play this game starting from the beginning, um, using my strategy of uh, earning money first and then building after. I'll show you what I mean once I get into the game. But um, it does require uh, purchases using Robux. Um, of course, you can still do it without that. It's just faster if you do. Um, so anyways, before I get into the game, I just want to show you some of my builds I've made. I'm working on my 10th restaurant. So this here is my first restaurant. It's called Avenue Valdor, and it's basically a French European cuisine. My second restaurant is a new place in town, uh, because I couldn't think of a, a more interesting name than that. Um, and then my third restaurant is called A Space Oddity. Uh, it's basically a neon sci-fi kind of themed restaurant. And then my fourth restaurant is um, from Christmas time. I did two different restaurants because they came out with two um, base model restaurants to start with. So I did one of each. Um, so this is the first one. It's called uh, Christmas Village Restaurant. And then this one is the other Christmas restaurant, my fifth build. Um, and it's called Holiday Cheer. And then when I did my sixth restaurant, I thought, why do one big, huge restaurant when I could do like um, a little uh, sort of like restaurant mall where there's several different restaurants. So my sixth build is this restaurant that has six restaurants inside of it, including a pizzeria, a Chinese food restaurant, a European food restaurant, a, um, a farm themed burger restaurant called Old McDonald's, kind of um, a play on McDonald's. Um, and then there's also a, an ice cream and sundae uh, window. And then on the second floor, I have a Chinese restaurant, uh, no, not a Chinese, a Japanese restaurant, and also a cafe. And this is just a picture of what it looks like um, if you look down into the courtyard of all of the lower restaurants. Um, my seventh build, I did the same sort of thing, but instead of six restaurants, which I thought was kind of cramped, I did four restaurants. So um, on the bottom, there's a diner and an elegant kind of restaurant. And then on the second floor, there is a neon cafe and uh, an Italian restaurant. So that was my seventh build. My, my eighth build is a restaurant called La Vie Bohème. No, it's kind of designed to be like um, where people can have private parties or weddings or whatever, or that, you know, that sort of a restaurant. Um, that's on the bottom floor. And then on the top floor, there is a cafe and also a, um, a conference room. Um, and then my ninth restaurant is a beach themed one. And I just started my 10th restaurant yesterday. Um, so it's just at the front part here. That's, and that's not finished, but that's all as far as I've gotten so far. Um, but I decided to start yet another restaurant today so I can do a tutorial series if people are interested in it. Um, so I'm gonna start right from the beginning and that's where we are right now. If you click on the green button here, um, it brings you to an open lot. There are, um, wow, I can't see. There's one restaurant right there. I can't see any other restaurants for some reason. Um, it doesn't show you the whole map. But anyways, we're, um, we're by ourselves over here. So uh, you just go onto the lot, and then this comes up. This shows all of my restaurants, and um, but we are going to do a brand new one. And you get you start out with six free saves, 
And then after that, you have to buy them for 25 Robux. And that's what I've been doing. So, but when you start, if you haven't played before, you're, you're going to um, start for free. So I am going to buy this save slot. And now I can go to it, um, choose a name. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube How To Series. Let's see how that is. Um, and then it brings you to this where you get to choose like a base model of a restaurant to start with. So um, you can just arrow through the different ones. There's different styles. Of course, the restaurant that you end up making does not have to look anything like, you know, what this starts out with. Um, so what I usually do is I pick ones that have things that I think I might want to use, like this kind of a window or this um, plant box or this kind of a railing. Um, palm trees, you know, whatever I think I might want to include in my restaurant, but my final restaurant isn't going to end up looking anything like um, what they, what I choose um, to start out with. So um, I don't think I've ever done that one. I don't like that. You got, you know, you have to keep all the walls and stuff. So I want to pick one that's, you know, it's got stuff that I'm going to use. So um, choices, choices. <laughs> All right, I have never done this one before, so let's do this one. And it loads it up, and so we're on day one. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, we have our first customers. In order to seat them on a at a table, you just click their little bubble, and it shows down here. Click the table for these customers, and it shows you an arrow. Um, to where you can seat them at. So you just click on one of the tables and the customers will proceed over there. Um, I don't like I don't like how I can't see what's going on. So I'm gonna get rid of these walls. To do that, you just click on build here, click on a wall and then um, either click store or the number two. Uh, so I can just get rid of these walls so I can see what is going on. All right, so we'll start with that. We'll exit build, and this customer wants to order a samosa. Um, basically, I have already unlocked all of the uh, cuisines and recipes, and so they can order anything from those, but I'm going to take a bunch of these off. Whoops, that's not what I meant to click, um, because I want to kind of limit. Um, let's Actually, let's keep Italian. We'll start off with Italian food, but I don't know what it'll end up with. But it's just easier if you're making like the same dozen things over and over again when you start out. So I'm going to just take all of this stuff off the menu, but not the drinks. Um, American food. All right, so that just leaves us with, oops, with Italian food and drinks. So the menu is a lot smaller. Um, and if you wanted to, you could take these individual items off and just, you know, if you wanted to have, uh, you know, three things of each or something like that, you you could. But anyways, um, this person wants to order, so we just click on the little bubble there, and uh, my order will pop up on this order counter. Um, but first, these people also would like to sit somewhere. Uh, so there, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to get rid of more of this stuff. I don't, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just don't want so much stuff in my way. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of some stuff. Okay, so exit build. And so press E for cook, or you can just click on this. And it there's green arrows that shows you where, exactly where to go. So it's directing you to the preparation counter, and it's telling you to chop. And in order to chop, you press E, and then you click your mouse until it's done chopping. Then it tells you to fry it. Um, I bought a boost that makes me cook food faster. So when you do this, ah, my food is burning. It doesn't affect anything if you burn your food. <laughs> um, and wrap and move the mouse up and down. It tells you like what you need to do. Once you're done making the order, it goes on top of the order counter. You just click on the food 
and the arrow directs you to the person that it goes to. And so now we're going to do a salad. Chop, 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 lots of chopping for the salad. And we will bring it to this person. When they're done eating, you will collect their dish. They'll get their menus out again and look at them for, you know, 30 seconds or whatever and order something. So you just click on what they ordered and then you click on, um, you just keep doing this, you know, over and over again, just following the directions at the bottom and in these bubbles here. Um, and so basically what you're doing, now I'm going to click E to get the other order. What you're going to be doing when you first start off in the game is just a lot of cooking and waiting on customers to get money. And down here in the bottom left corner, that's your money. You start out with 300, I guess. Um, the 10 diamonds I have uh, earned, so... I don't know if you start out with any diamonds or maybe the 10 diamonds is what you start out with. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long since I've started like fresh from this game. Um, at the end of each day, this collect rewards is going to come up and you just click on it and it tells you what you've done. Cooked four dishes, seated four customers, served two dishes, collected a dish, take four orders. Um, I'm level 41, so I've obviously done quite a bit of this. I have. It'll tell you how many new dishes you've unlocked. Um, and you just click the unlock button and it basically will show you um, the different uh, countries. And if I had any recipes, they would pop up and you get to click on the ones that you want. You know, you go to whatever country you want, you know, you can just randomly get recipes or you can just pick a country. Like if you're going to have, you know, a Chinese restaurant, you know, you can collect all the Chinese restaurant um, recipes first or whatever. But... Um, and right now I can only carry one thing at a time, collect their dishes, but if you go into restaurant on the bottom here, and, um, so for $100, game dollars, I have 300, I can get waiter trays, which will allow me to carry three things at once, so I don't have to, you know, keep getting one at a time, so I'm going to get that, um, it's a good thing to start with. Um, so I am going to keep cooking and fast forward through all of this until I get to a point where I'm going to do something different. And as you can see, since I've got the tray now, I can carry more than one thing. And you just have to click on whichever customer the items belong to. And this basically, you know, you just go on and on. Um, and... Once the customers leave, they will give you money. So I just made some tiramisu. Goes to that person. Collect dishes. There's usually three courses people have. They'll have, like, starters, their main course, and dessert. And not everyone, like, everyone usually orders a main course, but not everyone will order a starter or a dessert. And bring them their tiramisu, collect their dishes. And it said they, um, $36. Uh, I have, when you go in here, there's an auto collect money, which I already bought that. Like if you buy, you only have to buy it once. So if you're going to do more and more restaurants, you always have that. Whereas like the, the tray thing, um, you have to do it each time. And in the beginning, it does um, take a while to get things going. I'm going to get rid of some more of this stuff. Um, a lot of people, they like build as soon as they can, whereas I destroy. <laughs> uh, because my restaurant's not going to look anything like this in the end. So, um, And if I get rid of stuff, I could just kind of stand in here and take their order and grab those people and click on a table for them and um, and cook. And I don't have to do very much walking around in the beginning here because the restaurant's so small. Grab the salad and give it to the person. Um, but like I said, I like to uh, destroy the restaurant in the beginning because and build it later. Um, because you get to expand your restaurant. And so... I 
you know, I don't want to rebuild my restaurant every time I get an expansion. So I always wait until uh, I have all of my expansions. And the expansions um, cost money, like expanded plot two. Where's the first expanded plot? There it is. Expanded plot um, is $600. So that's what I need to do. That's like the next thing I want to get is the expanded plot. So I need to save up $600 in order to get that. But, actually, you will get money faster the more tables you have. So, um, what I do is uh, buy stuff. This is a mega table. This is um, the biggest table you can get. And it's only it's the cheapest table. It's only $10. Um, but you need to buy the mega table upgrade. Um, which is another upgrade that you only buy once, and then every restaurant that you do, you have that upgrade. So when you're first starting out, there's um, several upgrades that you're going to want to do. And let's see how many chairs I can buy. So if you're going to build and chairs, the cheapest chairs are um, these two, or hay bale, but I don't want hay, hay bales. Um, hay yeah, hay bales. So I'm going to get the comfy chair. That's what these already are. Um, and I'm basically just going to keep buying, buying them until I run out of money and see you don't have enough cash. So um, I could buy more, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so collect their dishes. These people want a table for three. So they're going to have to sit here. And make sure you collect your rewards, too. It gives you XP, and that's also how you get your new recipes. Um, but like I said, I already have the recipes, so I'm just going to click on this continue arrow thing. And in the beginning, it's you know pretty easy to do this by yourself. Uh, as your restaurant gets bigger and you you know it takes a lot more to do these things by yourself, you can hire a chef and or a bunch of chefs. You can have up to 12 chefs, but obviously you don't need that in the beginning. And you can also hire waiters, up to 12 waiters, but you don't want to, you don't need to do that in the beginning either. So um, I got a little bit more money, so I can, if you click on this little, um, I forget what that's called, click on it, it's, it's for pick item, or you can also click on Q to pick item. And basically what you do when you click on that, you can pick whatever item you want more of. And then you don't have to go looking for, um, I need to get rid of that. Uh, I don't have enough cash to get more. I've already collected all of the orders that were there while the first item was cooking. You can, I think, uh, click up to five, four or five orders at a time. Um, which I usually do, so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the uh, order counter and I get rid of that lamp too. Because I do this um, third person, stuff gets in my way. <laughs> so let's get rid of this stuff on the ceiling. All right, collect their dishes, take their orders, cook, and if see if I. Uh, keep clicking. I can get multiple orders at once, which saves a bit of time. And they want the gelato. And, you know, a lot of it is, in the beginning, you can kind of stand pretty much in one spot. And it's a lot of clicking E and moving your mouse around. I don't play this game for, you know, the, the cooking part. Um, I play it for building, but, you know, in the beginning, you you have to, um, what did I start to say? In the beginning, you have to do a lot of cooking. So, um, but anyways, like I said, if you get the, uh, the, the upgrade so that you can get these big tables, um, you can just get, once you get, like, all of the chairs around it, this seat's 20. Um, and you get parties of 20, then they'll be giving you, you know, a couple hundred dollars 
table for nine instead of, um, you know, like 20 bucks that these small tables. Um, so like another thing that you can do is get more chairs to go around the existing tables. Um, so basically it's, it's important to, um, to have as many tables and chairs as you can afford until you get to a point like where this room is kind of full. Um, and then you save up for your first expansion. I'm up to $43 so I can buy um, at least, yeah, I can get one more chair. Like I said, you can uh, get chairs to go to your existing tables as well. Because once you get going in the game, um, you don't get very many two parties of two. Um, so... It's important to have bigger tables, at least like that seat for, um, if you go like this where the bubbles all overlap and click on it, it'll click, it'll take a bunch of orders all at once. So for me, I'm a builder. Um, this beginning part is kind of boring, but it's necessary. Okay, so another thing that I like to do um, is you start out with two stoves, two ovens, and two prep counters, but you really don't, it's just you, so you don't really need to have all of these out, so I like to get down to just having one of each, and um, that also creates more space for where you can um, move this over. No, it won't let me, I have to close the um, restaurant in order to move that because there's an order on it. Um, but anyways, it frees up some space so you can put more uh, tables and chairs. See how this was a bigger table and I got $105 from that. I'm just gonna um, move some stuff around to make this more... Uh, if I move this stuff and make my kitchen really tiny, I can basically just stand in one spot and do all of the cooking and whatnot. Get rid of these. And that gives me some more room for tables. And I have some money so I can add more chairs to this table. Get right now. The further you get in the game, there are more um, kitchen pieces, like you know, a fryer and a grill and um, mixing counters, things like that, um, that are for more advanced recipes, but. Um, <clears throat> In the beginning, you don't need all of that. I don't usually get that stuff until I, like, start building. Another thing I want to show you about this is in front of your restaurant, you get these two boards. And um, other players can like your restaurant. You can also like your restaurant. Um, these stars are what the fake customers um, the NPCs, they are based on their reviews. And in the beginning of the game, you always have really low stars. You don't start getting four or five stars until you've you know, gotten a lot more into the game. Um, and then there's these pets. Um, you'll see how you get them. But uh, you can have different pets. Let's see. Oh, it's not on there. Items. So you get these different pets, and they do different things. Um, right now, this is... Uh, keeps workers happier by 20%. I don't have any workers, but this um, is from my last restaurant. It stays the same until you change it. So, um, 
if I want to change it, let's see. I'm trying to think of something that how about watermelon, what does that do? Increases customer spawn rate. So yeah, that's kind of a good one to have. Another thing to make note of is you get to choose where customers spawn at and where they walk to and um, this is under build uh, special configuration and um, you get one of each of these, the customer spawn point and the cost customer walk point so um, you know you can move it around if you want uh, them you know to spawn at a different spot and when they spawn this is where they walk to and they stop here so, so just something to make you aware of when you start doing your um, your building is you can change where customers spawn and where they walk um, these two people ordered pizza I might change my pet to the pizza I think it increases the um, well I think I have the Italian menu so it either increases the price of pizza or the price of Italian uh, um, foods so I'm gonna have to check on that Um, but uh, I haven't gotten any pets in this restaurant yet, so um, these people get the pizza. There's a lot of them. And two orders of tiramisu. What did I start saying? I totally don't remember what I started saying. <laughs> Let's get some more chairs. Um, we can put one here and you just press R to rotate by the way to rotate the furniture so that's now a table for four and that one's a table for three and I don't I don't have enough it's thirty dollars and I have 18 so I don't have enough but you slowly um, you slowly build up your tables and chairs and as you do like just keep doing it you know um, because you it's all about getting getting money, and the you get money faster when you have more customers, which means you need to have table for 16. So when they are done, they will probably give me a couple hundred dollars, which is significant. Now I'm gonna check on the if I change this to the pizza. Items. Let's let's equip the pizza, um, and it's you can equip it so that it follows you around. But to me, that's kind of annoying. So I always you just click on the pet, and you can uh, either unequip it or two restaurant will stick it so it's permanently fixed in front of the restaurant, and increases the price of Italian food by 20%. So since my um, my menu is Italian food, that's the perfect pet to put up there. Wow, everybody's getting garlic bread. <laughs> Oops, I put this in my chair. Uh oh, that's gonna be a problem if I click, uh, click E. And this bar is your progress bar, so um, make sure that is like not there before you think you're finished cooking. Sometimes the arrows do not uh, go to the right person. I don't know why. But when the restaurant is bigger, it's usually better about that. I think what I will do is move the kitchen. Um, I'll just move it there. I like to uh, have my kitchen in the beginning in um, a little L shape because then I can just stand in one spot and um, and cook. Now I don't want uh, 
my customers walking where my kitchen has now been relocated, so I'm gonna relocate where the customers go. There. Collect their dishes. Um I want to move their table. Uh, let's move it over here. You have an inventory button up here, and everything that you own goes into the inventory, so um, if you want to retrieve something, you just click on your inventory. Um, and I want another chair here. And let's get some more chairs for here. Don't worry about your customers that are, like, waiting. It doesn't, like, affect you if... See, now it's a table for 20. Um, but anyways, it doesn't matter if people are waiting for oops, for a while. Actually, I'm going to reconfigure my L here. Move this to the other side. Alright. Oops, gotta get out of build. Collect my rewards. Um, you get the most XP from cooking. You only get a little bit of XP from everything else. So, um, if you want to build up your XP to get more recipes, um, you would do cooks. So, like, the first employee you would hire would probably be a waiter which you can turn into a waitress it just um, defaults to a male but you can um, you can change their uniform and um, you know their hair and their face and all that kind of stuff which I will show you later when we get to that point now since that table cleared out I want to move it before I see more people. So we'll just move it over here. See, that was 251 I think it said. So you get money a lot faster if you have bigger tables. And let's see about getting more tables and chairs. Um, if I get another mega table, let's see. And chairs. Obviously, your finished restaurant, you would not make this crowded, but um, when you're at the you just want to earn money stage, like I keep saying, um, It's important to have uh, as many tables and chairs as possible. And this is a birthday party. It doesn't really, as far as I know, it doesn't really affect anything, um, except that at one point it plays a little bit of happy birthday and, um, and you give them a, a birthday cake. There is, you know, sound effects for, you know, like you're chopping and, you know, the various things that you're doing. And then there's also um, background noise of people talking. Um, so there are sound effects to the game. I just have them turned off for the video. Oops. This is the point. Um, the next time I get money, I think I will buy a waiter so I can concentrate on cooking. Now that there's... Um, a lot more seats so that I can work faster and if you go to the workers down here um, hire a chef it's 200 the price varies depending on how many you already have and uh, same for a waiter so I um, need to save up that's what I'll save up for next but all I need is for um, the large table to leave and I'll have enough money for a waiter. 
some dishes there are several steps to, you know, you might need to chop and fry and um, cook in the oven, you know, they'll, some recipes they'll have two or three or maybe even more steps. don't want to see any more customers because um, I want to end this and I don't like just closing the restaurant I, like you can kick all the customers and you know they'll leave right away but I want to get the money so if I click on closed um, I won't get any more customers just finish up the ones that I have There's the um, birthday cake, and if I had the um, sound on, the little happy birthday music would play. It basically just, um, it's instrumental, and it's basically just saying happy birthday to you. Okay, these are people going to leave, and I've got $280 cash from them, um, so I'm up to $450, so I can buy some customers. Um, oh, there was one of those customers that just left was a VIP customer, and um, they sometimes drop you, uh, the VIP customer usually drop you like a gift or whatever, and um, and it just, yeah, like, it shows you, you know, experience per point three. <laughs> but anyways, um, mystery gift, so you open mystery gift, and this is where you would get a pet, or you could get things like plates or utensils. Um, I already have all of them, so even though I, you have to claim it, so, so I'm not really getting anything from um, claiming that. So I just have this one last table of customers to take care of, and um, so I hope you guys found this video interesting and informative, and in the next one I will uh, work on buying employees and more tables and chairs and building up the money. Thanks for watching, bye!